built by folks who had the guts to live off the land. And for those who still hunt their fortunes in the wild, outstanding. The road to riches can be downright filthy. Tonight on Filthy Riches, oh, the Cajuns gamble on Virgin Swamp. Come here, hurry up. Ah. Oh, Chris and Lavina get off on the wrong uh. foot. Oh, jeez. Ray gets robbed blind. Unbelievable. I just see you. And Jim and Andy go overboard for a big payday. And the monkey gets back in the water. Oh, oh. Ray's figured out the eagles along the Delaware have been snacking on his eel catch and eating into his profits. But he's still got a few tricks up his sleeve. Ready? Steady the boat. Steady. And he's called in fellow riverman Ben Rinker to help him out. There's only one way that we're going to actually be able to deny that specific type of predation, and that's to put in what we call a live box. Looking forward to this, man. A live box has a number of attributes, OK? Set her down. First of all, by its name, it's a live box. It keeps your product alive. You gotta back out of there yep. so it can go against that two by. When the eels are migrating, they go over the lip of the drop, go down through this pipe, and land in the live box so that we can harvest them later and have them preserved from predators. <laughs> well, this is the path of the eel here. This little hole right here is where they're gonna plop into here over the lip and then right into there into the box on the outside. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that felt good. I want that to stick in inside there three inches. Once we get it in there, they're going to have a place to go and hide. I got it. I'm in. And they'll be there when we need them so we can harvest, so we can get back into production. Yes, and I think the important message here is that there's plumbing, there's carpentry, there's engineering, there's architecture, there's hydraulics. This is a very explicit example of why kids should go to school. We got 10 years of college education standing here, and we don't know a lot about a lot, but damn little about everything. <laughs> this is the Great Eel Highway. They'll float down into the pipe and go into the live box. That's nice support. Perfect. Now that we have it plumbed in properly and the rock securing the pipe, I think it's in, in pretty good shape. Ray's going above and beyond to protect his payday but it won't matter unless there's eels in the trap. So it's time for Mother Nature to do her thing. That's a nice job. Scrambling to salvage his. This is going to be another MacGyver kind of a thing. After installing a live box to keep predators away from his eels. I don't see nothing. Oh my. Being some kind of a clog. The clog has got to be addressed immediately or the whole operation is moot. Now, I call this device, because of the way it works, an eel flush matic It's just a hydraulic enhancer. The flush matic is quite simple. It's a four-inch PVC with an angle bend on the end and a reducer. It's going to just squirt gun water right down through that pipe, flush out debris, smashed in, mushy pudding-type shad, or what we're looking for, big black female American silver eel. Now, you can see by the size of the flange, it's going to go right in there like that nice. It seals it off, OK? And now we bring it up to tension against the drop so it stays in place. And then that's ready to go. Got a lot of mud flushing up in the air. Let's throw another one down the tube. Come on out of there, Thanks to his eel flush o -matic, Ah, there's the clog. It's a stinking fetch. He's managed to clear the clog that's been keeping eel from making their way safely into the live box and away from hungry eagles. And today he's back, hoping to have finally caught himself a bunch of fish to smoke up and sell. If they're in that pipe, we're going to get them. That flush o is a damn good bit of modern technology. Let's try it and see what we got here. If there's nothing in the box, that doesn't mean there's no eels here. 
That pipe that's going into the live box has water in it probably halfway up. So let's ram some water down through there and see if anybody's home. Hey, eel! Eel was in the tube, man. We just eelomatic went out of the tube. We got fish. We got fish. flush matic Outstanding. Fall back in it. He's playing hard to get. He's playing with the wrong fisherman. Double barrel flush of matter. <laughs> One, two, three. Fishes! We got them. Damn thing worked. We'll keep flushing until we get them all. Look at that. All the work has kind of come into it into the limelight now. We're actually showing a catch capability. We've saved these eels from the eagles. It's a good day. We caught some fish. About 15 altogether. Bray's finally gonna have the money flowing as well as his eel trap. That's business. 